Good day. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Minecraft Play. Start up the Robert's Retro Gaming World. This is uh, episode two. Um, I'm actually uploading episode one as we speak. So I was watching it a little bit and uh, I think I have to make a real effort not to move to too choppily. I do have a habit of swinging the camera around wildly for sure as I uh, try to see what's going on behind me. I'll do my best. I'm being attacked by a, a monster, probably uh, I'll whip around, but uh, other than that I will try to keep in mind to keep the motion a little smoother, a little slower. So, here we are, setting up the base. I think that um, I'll just focus on that for a little while here. I think I also think that this episode won't be as long as the first one, which was basically an hour long. did try to re-encode it and compress it further. That was an abject failure, so um, not entirely clear why. I'm not an expert in all of these things, but I have been working with video files a little bit for quite a few years, so I'm not entirely sure what the problem is there. Or was, is, was. probably has something to do with setting my recording up for 30 frames a second, which may not be necessary for this sort of a gameplay video, but um, that's where I'm set at the moment, so see how that goes. If anyone is an OBS expert out there, on there. Oh, blocked by leaves, I think. Still blocked by leaves. If there's any OBS experts out there that uh, feel the need to give me some advice, I wouldn't say no. That tree grew pretty quick, I think. I mean, maybe smart to go out and find some. Uh, spruce trees because you can get a heck of a lot more wood in a fairly short period of time by building or by uh, planting trees that grow into giant trees. There's two types of those that I'm aware well three I guess. The spruce, the giant spruce are the biggest ones and then there's jungle, what are those called even? Jungle trees maybe? And then the dark oak, um, they don't grow as tall, but they are a, a wider base, so you get more, you, get, you do get more wood out of them than planting oak trees or birch trees. These birch trees? They look like birch trees. Are they called birch? Yes, they are called birch. Okay. Alrighty, well, <clears throat> how are we doing for wood? Third? Oh, only 35, yeah used to harvesting from giant spruce and things. Maybe I should go explore a bit. Take my bed with me and some food. Let's see here. Six loaves of bread. Fish out there. I do have some iron, which I should probably sock away for now. Powder, sand, I wouldn't need to carry around with me if I'm going to make a bit of an expedition. <clears throat> Food, we can put some sugar cane down there, apples, a little bit of fish. Not much, maybe I should. Ah. 
Maybe I should go harvest a few fish before I venture off into the world too much. Hunt and cook. Hunt and cook. Let's see here. What do we got? There's some cod out there, cod down there, cod over there. Salmon, for some reason, I find easier to fish, or rather hunt. So I'm not using a fishing rod at the moment. Something about the movement patterns of the cod, although I, get, I guess I had a reasonably successful one there. And a, or more in a short period of time, so it's not too bad. Of course, I didn't actually pick any of them up on the first go. Four, where are the other ones? So there. We will swim over there underwater. Let's get a couple more. My grass carpeting here is all growing in, so that's all right. Let's uh, do that, and maybe we'll cook some, or rather put some sand to smelt while I wait for the tuna. I keep calling it tuna, because I think of it as tuna, but it's not. It's cod. In game terms, it's cod. And for the cod to cook, I'd like to roof over a lot of this uh, this uh, crater that I'm in as my base. It's kind of neat to do that with glass, although that's going to require a lot more than a lot more sand than I've picked up already. I guess I could maybe do some of it in wood and some of it in glass. We'll see. Oh, cooking done. Good. Four more. Maybe I'll plant this one lonely salmon in here. Stick half of my bread in there. Sixteen torches. Should I take my bed with me? Maybe. Maybe. All right, the cod is all cooked. How's our time of day? Oh, just about night, okay. <clears throat> just come around and pick up those oak saplings. Saplings, I wanna call them seedlings all the time. The oak saplings. Oh, I should make myself a shovel before I go off traveling. Yeah. So maybe put the uh, saplings away here for now and um, make a shovel. And have a snooze. Now, which direction should I go in search of in search of wood? Spruce trees, most likely. Dark oak, I guess, maybe second, most likely. How are my crops coming along? Coming. Do I want to harvest any wheat? Not really. No big rush there. Okay, that's the direction of the village, which is west. Oh yes, I had made note of my coordinates here. It was about eight, close to zero in the Z direction and 500 positive in the X direction. So, well, 
that's west, that would make that north, east, south, There's lots of ocean out there. Do I dare set off into the ocean? I dare. Well, I guess you won't know for sure unless you try. I may be, I don't know, less inclined to go back in the direction of the village there. I don't have any real reason to go there right now. So maybe, maybe we'll give this a go. Head off north. Oop, that didn't work. I need to ideally want to pop up and be swimming on the surface. There we go. So what do we got over here? Sand, desert looks like. It's easy enough to make a boat, which arguably I should have done. Kind of more in the habit of just swimming around these days, but what's nice about a boat is that it lets you rest and you can do other things with it, like cart villagers away from their villages, for example. Which is something you might want to do if you're trying to set up a village somewhere where there isn't one. Around your home base, for example. What do we got? Oh, hey, what do we got over here? Some tall things in the distance there. And what's over here? It looks like spruce trees over there. Okay. Got some. a giant spire of stone and dirt. But I see. Some cod over there. I don't need any food. With the Minecraft update, um, I forget which one it was, C Caves and Cliffs, it made some, for some pretty spectacular terrain generation some of the time. Here's an example. You can see some lava emerging from the cliff side there and flowing down, which happens as as uh, the player comes within range to sort of... Uh, the game doesn't obviously update the whole world at all times. It only does it within a certain distance of the player. And, uh, sorry, I thought I heard a, a noise which made me think there was maybe a temple or something around here, an underwater temple. So you can see, start swimming again. You can see the lava coming down to meet the ocean. Big cave over there. So where the lava hits the water, it will turn to stone as it spreads out, which it's doing. I think it's maxed out its spread. So that's kind of cool. Now, unfortunately, you can't sort of harvest flowing water or flowing lava. You can use them to make stone, but that's about it. If you go, you have to find the... If you want to harvest lava, you need to find the lava source block, and uh, really you'll just get the one, or unless there's a pool up there, which is possible, I guess. So, let us just hop up some blocks to this cave and see what's happening in here. Any monsters? Probably. Oh, maybe not. It's not. It's a great big tall cave. Copper, not super exciting. All right, I think I will call that explored as much as I care to. We've got a bit of a waterfall here, which is kind of cool. You can you can actually swim up the waterfall without too much trouble, and uh, go see what's up there, but kind of see what's up there in the end way, and it's not, not super exciting. Top end of that cave, I guess. Anyway, I'm pretty sure I see spruce trees over here. Spruce or pine? Can't remember. Spruce, I think. So, that is my main mission at the moment, is to find a more efficient way of growing wood that can be harvested quickly to make things. One of the things that you need to make or 
it's better to make if you want large quantities of it is charcoal which is a uh, there we are which is a one for one replacement for coal spruce yeah and um, once you get the process going basically one log turns into one block of charcoal so what I'm gonna do here is cut down enough spruce trees, the logs, from each of them, such that I can get at least four spruce saplings. And uh, if you plant four of them together in a row, or in a, in a square, um, as long as there's clear space around them within a not too wide a radius, a couple of blocks I think is all it takes, they will grow into a, eventually into a giant spruce tree, which can be very tall indeed. Sometimes there's a fair bit of randomness there, but um, they can get very tall and uh, give you a lot of wood. You get a lot of wood bang for your buck. Sapling wild. Oh, quite a few actually. That's lucky. Sometimes, sometimes you don't get many saplings for some reason. I guess that reason probably is random drops, but because it's random, with some percentages obviously attached to it, um, sometimes you get lots, sometimes you get hardly any. With spruce trees, you often get a fair number, whereas with jungle jungle trees, which I feel like there's another name for that I'm not thinking of. The drop rate of saplings for those is way lower. So I guess that's enough, actually. Uh, I might just try to pick up one more so I've got a nice round multiple of four. And then uh, I see we're just about out of day here again. Coming. If I'm swimming at night, that's not much of a big deal. Zombies tend to just sort of generate randomly in the middle of the ocean. There's, oh, I could be wrong about that. There are structures in the ocean where they will generate. <clears throat> the temples, for example, that I was mentioning. I think they're called temples. Oh, my OCD's kicking in. Now I've got 19. Maybe, maybe we'll wait for one more. Oh, there we go. That'll do. Run away! Although the sticks are kind of nice at this point. You'll reach a stage where sticks are surplus, and you can obviously make sticks from lumber, but... Um, uh, let's see here. So it's in the west, right? So this is going to be south. That's the way I came. Yep. Although I traversed east for ways. Oh, look at this. Interesting. Alright, that might be for another time. Do some underwater cave exploration. Which is, can be a fairly risky proposition, actually. There's the big old sun. Rolling around heaven all day. As the as the old standard song has it. Uh, where am I coordinate wise? 700, negative 200. Yeah, actually, I need to go this way quite a ways. 200 blocks or so. Do a little Minecraft night swimming. What could be more fun than that? swim into the sunset.
spectacular. Here comes the moon. Swimming in circles. <clears throat> Alrighty. Now we'll just sort of head back in the direction of the oh, is that a is that a different village or is that the same village? That might just be the same village actually. I'm thinking that it probably is. sure that's the same the same village that I had explored earlier in episode one yes sir here's my here's my island so what I will do I think yep there's the smoke from my campfire I'm gonna swim around to the other side so that I'm not traversing Round in the night where you will tend to run into monsters. So there's my crops. Oh, there's a skeleton shooting arrows at me. And missing, thankfully. Here's a zombie. And where's my base? Just up here. Here we come. Oh, an enderman. Guys are creepy, but I would kind of like to. Oh boy, so many creatures. Come on, uh, I would like to fight that Enderman. They drop uh, something called Ender Pearls sometimes, which are quite useful. Okay, so many monsters. Back off a bit here, get some air. Zombies will sort of smoke. Oh, whoops. That wasn't quite what I was coming out there. Oh, so many zombies. Uh, back off a smudge. So the water cushions some of the explosions. Okay, is Mr. Enderman still around? Oh, what blew up the Enderman? So that's odd. Oh, come here, Mr. Spider, let's go. Not so tough. You're not so tough, Mr. Spider. Lots of creepers around. Still raining. Okay, so I got. Oh, there we go. Sun comes out in the morning. Um, what am I gonna do here next? I'm going to maybe put away some wood, some sand. I'm not sure why the Enderman got killed. Maybe from the, maybe from the creeper explosion. But in any case, I got an Ender. Which is quite nice. Um, got anywhere that I've put zombie stuff? No, not really. The 
there is some use for um, rotten flesh, but uh, not for anything that I'm going to be doing immediately here. Where did I put those oak saplings? There we go. All right, I will stick my head up above ground level here and uh, see who's running around. There's a creeper over there. Alrighty, well I do sometimes like to grow spruce trees in um, on platforms because they convert any soil around them to a uh, another form, the name of which is going to escape me right now. But because I've got all of this sand out here, I think what I will do is just plant, make a little planting area in the, in the sand out of soil, because I don't think the uh, I don't think the spruce trees care if they're in a desert environment or a beach environment. I think what they really care about... Oh, that was quick. So there you can see a giant spruce tree. I don't know that they're actually called that. But um, there you go. That grew like lickety-split. I'm just harvesting some more sand here because uh, my the the image I'm forming of what my uh, home base is going to look like is going to involve some glass here. So I think I will just take this opportunity to grab a little bit of sand. I'm sure I will have to come back and dig some more, but uh, just grab some for now and maybe set it to uh, to uh, baking into glass. Smelting. I'm not sure if that's the right word for glass. Alright, some oak trees growing. Might just leave those mostly alone now that I've got spruce. Maybe take some of them down and only have a few growing. All right, so there's some glass. Oh, I did harvest 64. So if I, let me think about this for a second. If I put that to smelt, that will consume almost all of my coal. That's okay though, because I've got, I should probably get another furnace going actually. Multiples of eight <clears throat> because the uh, that's how the fuel works. They convert eight units of things. So I don't know what the inside of my uh, my base should look like. Think about that a little bit. I think I'm going to sort of build up some walls around the perimeter here. a reasonable height so should I build this one should I build the rest of it up or should I take this side down what's going on here that's in that water is one level down which is basically sea level that tree there is going to be in my way so let's maybe harvest that guy oh here we are coming up in half an hour already 
So I think I am going to wrap it up for now. And um, what am I going to do here? Maybe take a screenshot of this area here, which is ever so lovely. My spruce tree and everything. My axe in the foreground there. And uh, I'm going to wrap it up there. So thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time.